Moments from now, the setting is Detroit, Michigan, the Motor City. The Bulls take it on the Pistons. For Chicago, they've started the season with an even one and one split, trying to get over 500 tonight. Pistons, Bulls, and back in a moment for the tip. City on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far from me. Never caught off, not one too far from me. Never caught off, not one day. Oh, but I'm still on my way. All right, everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Brian Anderson here alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us from the floor. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Chicago Bulls. On Monday, they'll go up against the Pacers in Indiana. Then on Wednesday, they'll take on Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. On the wings, it's the dynamite pair of Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside, and it's White in at point guard. Well, you look at the length and athleticism of this young Pistons roster, Grant. Quite the foundation. Yeah, B.A., I mean, those are things you can't teach. So the rate at which this new-look coaching staff develops that will determine just how quickly they can deliver on that innate capability. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And Chicago gets called for the foul. Well, Grant, we're still early on in the season here, but you feel like you've got a good sense of these teams yet? Absolutely no. I mean, it's too early right now to tell. Now, some teams are still kind of coming into their own, so I think we need a few more games before we get a real sense of who the contenders are this year. No good on that one. No good on the second free throw. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Outside White. Pass to Williams. The Pistons clear it. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Hornets. And you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. And maybe if they were at home, their fans could have given them the boost they needed to get over the top. White, the pass to Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Ivy. Inside. And the power finished by Vucevic! Doing exactly what you expect. Vuce setting a solid screen that gets things going. And here's Ivy. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the floor. Vucevic, a screen on Ivy. Levine passes to Vucevic. Chalk up two there. Vucevic has got his third basket on the night right there. They've come out strong three of their first four to start the game. And here are the Pistons, and always a fan favorite, Richard, Zach Levine. Most everything he does, it seems to have a little bit of flash to it. You know about the power. He has a high arcing shot, and he just has a flair for the dramatic and spectacular. Such an energetic play from Cunningham, going right up for the slam. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even...
even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Now here's DeRozan. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Toronto. First one falls. And Williams drops them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Levine against Ivy. To the inside. Here's Cunningham. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Cunningham's got six. Out. Out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Levine against Ivy. Vucevic. And the power finished by Vucevic. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. Here's Cunningham. His last outing, he had 20. Pass to Ivy. Shoots over Levine. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Williams, a screen on Stewart. DeRozan passes to Williams. No luck on that one. Nice D from Thompson. The Pistons have gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Ivy. Levine with some nice D. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. White, the pass to Williams. Misses again, now 0 for 3. The Pistons trailing. Here's Ivy. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Vucevic, a screen on Ivy. And Levine, here we go. Vucevic's shot is off. The Pistons shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Pass to Cunningham. Now here's Stewart. Thompson scanning the floor. Cunningham outside. And here's Ivy from the arc. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now here's White. No points yet. Williams. Some solid defense from Stewart. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Cunningham outside. Counted from distance. Cunningham's got nine. A pretty big component of Cunningham's game. He knows how to produce from the arc. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. White finds DeRozan. Williams with the screen. Crafty move. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. He's off on the first. There's an old-school feel to DeMar's game. He'll hit you with a pull-up mid-range J. It makes DeRozan really tough to guard. The Bulls making a switch here. Andre Drummond is checked in for Vucevic. Caruso comes in for Williams. Desumu, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Carter in for White. Here's Cunningham. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And getting up close and personal, Cunningham knows he can get his shot to go inside. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Terrific defense by DeMar DeRozan. He's capable of making an impact on this end occasionally. And so it's Cade Cunningham making things happen for Detroit. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this.
And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, looking at what we've seen from the Pistons, what do you think? Well, you have to imagine they're feeling pretty confident the way things have gone. But they can't afford to get complacent because of the early success. There is still a lot of basketball to be played. On the court for Chicago, Alex Caruso is out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's DeSumo, then there's Javon Carter, and it's Taylor in at the five spot. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Out to the right wing. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. Well, last year they swept the season series. There was a talent differential between the two teams. We'll see if that gap has narrowed. Yeah, these teams were not on even ground last year, but no matter what it looks like on paper, we see teams make big turnarounds every season. Pass to Cunningham. You know, there's some great ball handlers in the league today, but maybe not as much as in the past, RJ. Well, most teams are more focused on ball movement than NBA. Passing is the emphasis, not ISO play. But at the end of the day, you better have a guy late game that can do the ISO work. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Bulls. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Stewart, he's checked in for the Pistons. Thompson comes in for Grimes. And the Bulls also making a change. Andre Drummond is checked in for Taylor. Here's Sasser. Nine points for him in his last game. Just five on the clock. And again, the Pistons missing. Chicago leading. DeRozan deciding where to go with it. Pass to Caruso. Outside Carter to the paint. Wiseman with a steal. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. Yeah, I just love how Cunningham alters his pace to get what he wants. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Drummond with the screen. Caruso with it. Guarded now by Wiseman. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Now here's Cunningham. He's got 13. Now Wiseman. Thompson outside. With his first shot attempt. Oh, DeRozan with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And the Pistons making a change here. Duran's checked in. The Bulls have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Well, Richard, when you talk about great scores, DeMar DeRozan doesn't always get the credit he deserves. Yeah, he should really get more praise than he does, Brian, especially when you consider how incredible he is from the mid-range. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Here's Sasser. No made baskets yet. Cunningham outside. Duran the screen. From the strike. Tries again. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Dasumu, the pass to DeRozan. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Stewart. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Duran the screen. Cunningham passes to Duran. And it's Chicago with the board. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Drummond to screen on Stewart. To the middle. That's good from Drummond on the assist by Carter. And now a five-point Chicago lead. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. 
Ivy's checked in for Kate Cunningham. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Drummond. Williams comes in for DeRozan. Zach Levine, he's checked in for DeSumo. And it's White in for Carter. I love it. I mean, great ball movement by Ivy. The Bulls have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Outside Levine. Vucevic is screen on Ivy. Pass to Caruso. Picked by Vucevic. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Flushing it on a much taller defender. That is just filthy. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first half. Stewart with it. Williams defending. Stewart, no good. For Chicago, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Vucevic, a screen on Ivy. Here's Levine for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And Levine takes a lot of threes for this very reason. Such an effective shooter. Pass to Stewart. Over Williams. And finished off by Stewart. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. And stolen by Stewart. One second left. The shot, no good. And so it's the Chicago Bulls leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Monty Williams and Coach. Certainly some areas to correct moving forward. What have you seen so far? We had a few breakdowns on defense. We've got to recognize personnel. We've given up a few open shots to guys we've talked about. We'll be better as we go forward. We've got to get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Hello, folks. The first half is in the books, and we've got a lead on the scoreboard for the Chicago Bulls. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're going to need you. Be ready. And you don't always know which games it'll be, but tonight they needed scoring from their reserves. Good job, guys. It's kept them in the game, but I think they'll have to ride their stars down the stretch. And now your favorite part of this show for some reason social media posts hey we got a fun question here from hooper no bloopers with a z Shaq, he wants to know what's the biggest blunder you made on the court shooting an air ball free throw uh the fifth time or the sixth time shooting an air ball free throw that does it for halftime let's get back to game action here's brian anderson with the start of the third quarter After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Nice game. Great performance by Kate Cunningham. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Thompson, and it's Duran in at the center position. And that's the group for Monty Williams as we begin the second half. Now here's White. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Six on the shot clock. Here's Levine for three. Duran with a rebound. 
and the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Pass to Cunningham. Let's it fly. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Yeah, what a massive showing from Kay Cunningham. It's been really a treat to watch. Cunningham against White. Here's Williams. Detroit with a rebound. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Thompson finds Ivy. Now here's Stewart. Williams defending. Stewart, the pass to Cunningham. Deflects the pass. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. And now the Bulls in transition. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Kate Cunningham was the Pistons' number one overall pick in 2021, but he knows recognition comes with success. He said, nobody will care until you're winning. I think that's the next step for us. We're trying to take that challenge. It's us versus everybody. Brian, the Pistons, a young and scrappy team, are embracing the challenge. Yes, they are. Thanks, Allie. And the Pistons with possession here. After the basket by Chicago. Thompson outside. The three is up. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got seven rebounds in the game. Grant, plenty of guys show up to the league. Accomplished athletes. Asar Thompson is no exception. Yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Amin, both possess elite explosiveness, B.A. At six foot seven and a seven foot wingspan, all the tools to succeed and the work ethic to make it happen. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Time out, time out. Detroit calls timeout. Nikola Vucevic has come to play here in this one. He's been on a absolute tear inside. They've got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. The Bulls making a switch here. Caruso is checked in. Caruso. Here's Thompson. No points so far. Here's Cunningham. That one is off. Outside White. Vucevic, a screen on Cunningham. White for three. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got his fourth rebound in this one. Ivy outside. Pass to Duran. Here's Cunningham. Aggressive move from Cunningham. Cutting apart the defense on the drive. Cunningham skilled at getting to the cup. White with it. On the wing, DeRozan. Stewart defends. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Rebound Detroit. A minute 58 left in the third. Ooh, assertive from Cunningham. A minute 50 left in the third. Stewart against Levine. Kicks it to DeRozan. Pass to White. DeRozan, a screen on Cunningham. White, the pass to DeRozan. Too easy for DeRozan. From the wing position, DeMar DeRozan is one of the best at finishing through contact. We've got 128 left in the third. Ivy outside. Now Cunningham. Down low. And Stewart with the basket on the assist by Cunningham. Stewart's got his second basket of the night. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. All right, some time here to take a look at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the league's top shooting squads from last year. The Bulls, fourth. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Levine against Ivy. And Levine, here we go. Taylor's shot is off. The Pistons have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Tries the spin move. Pass to Wiseman from outside the arc. The rebound by Phillips. For Chicago, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Caruso. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Feed the interior. Good things will happen. Kate Cunningham's checked in for the Pistons. Caruso. Caruso. 
One shot. Forty four seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Cunningham. Yeah, that's where he shines. Wiseman throws down the dunk. Size, explosion. He's a dangerous finisher, and we saw it right there. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Levine surveys the D. Driving inside. Here's Taylor. Goes back up. Rebounded by the Pistons. Wiseman's got rebound number five here tonight. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Cunningham outside. Shoots over Levine. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's the Bulls. They're up by five. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. 36. Terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And here's Cunningham. And so in the game for the Bulls, Javon Carter is out there with Ayo DeSumo. Then it's Andre Drummond. Then it's Alex Caruso. And it's DeRozan in at the power forward position. And it's Caruso with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Leading by five. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Indiana, where they'll face the Pacers. It's the second game of three on the road. It's almost like he had a bird's eye view of the court. DeRozan always knows where his teammates are. Here's Sasser. Pass to Wiseman. Cunningham with the ball. Caruso covers. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Detroit calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. And they were blunt with their team telling them if they want to win, the comeback has to start right now. They can't waste any possessions. Plus, they told the players, we need some stops. A very direct way to communicate, Brian. And Allie, thank you for that. Now here's DeRozan. Now here's Caruso. DeMar, strong move inside. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Sasser. Oh, Drummond with the block. Picked his pocket. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The officials were right on top of that one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Ooh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. Duran, he's checked in for Wiseman. Terry's checked in for Chicago. White comes in for Carter. The Pistons have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Cunningham. And again, the Pistons missing. For Chicago, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's DeRozan. And Grimes pulls it down. The Pistons trailing. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Cunningham outside. Pass 
pass to Grimes. Clock at six. The shot's good on the assist by Cunningham. And for a younger guy, Cunningham's vision is impressive. He's always watching the floor. And the Bulls shooting a nice 50% for the game. And there's the screen. Terry, the pass to Caruso. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Here's Cunningham following the bucket by the Bulls. Count that one. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Both teams will make substitutions. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Williams, a screen on Cunningham. White, the pass to Williams. Some solid defense from Stewart. Detroit has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. And Ivy gets it to go on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. And Chicago has possession. Tipped. Here's Cunningham. And that one is hammered home of taking big shots. Cunningham rises to the occasion and delivers. The Bulls have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Levine passes to Williams. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for it. Now here's Cunningham. Lots of room. It's hauled in by DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan's got five rebounds tonight. Ivy against Levine. Williams, a screen on Ivy. Levine passes to Williams. And now the Pistons in transition. And here's Ivy from the arc. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Pistons. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. They also excelled defensively tonight, particularly inside. Tons of shots sent back, which was a treat to watch. Now here's Cunningham. Three-pointer Stewart. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Outside for Levine. Jacks up a three. And again, no good by Chicago. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. Here's Cunningham. Two points here could be the only cushion they need, Grant. <laughs> Hard to say. Crazier things have happened in this league. A brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. And so here is Chicago following the score by Detroit. They get the rebound. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. Oh, he nails it! And it's Levine stepping up. Zach's grown into this role during his time in the lead. And they go to the intentional foul. First personal foul. Fifteen. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. He doesn't waste a chance to pad their lead. It's been some solid free throw shooting. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. With timeouts, it's use them or lose them. So why not go down fighting? We see the Pistons get the win here. 
Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame every one. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now our New Balance player of the game, Kate Cunningham.